Thompson and Nick Diaz. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Just missed with the left there. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Diaz. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Great punch landed with so much power. That's as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, he got a bad! Diaz getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Close guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Wonderboy Thompson. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Thompson. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Round two is next. So the crowd voicing its appreciation. All right, round two. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Wow, what a kick. Huge kick, man. Big knee to the body. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, he hurt. Whoa, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just missing on the high kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. How about that shin? Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good.
Thompson going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Look at him working at times. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great place to on that up and Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Diaz gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Nick Diaz and Conor McGregor. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But DJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck, doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, oh! Staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's all. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. We got to fight, folks. Oh! Three minutes remain in the round. I mean, he's cutting down the size with his beautiful leg kick. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big head kick land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Diaz. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head. Whoa! Whoa! Diaz lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And now he lands a combination! Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice. Nice. And there's a takedown attempt. Punch coming and drop. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Belts. This could end up being a very technical, very entertaining fight. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the keys for this one. I mean, you would have thought as a jiu-jitsu watcher that you would see these two competitors 
any jiu-jitsu competition. But ultimately, they are meeting in the octagon, and you are about to see jiu-jitsu in the UFC like we've never seen before. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick blocked. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. That's a good knee to the body. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he got one appear in the start. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Guys, really throwing with authority. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this fight's gonna be over. What a great play of making up with the tag. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Back to the feet now. Big kick land. Right hand on point. Oh, yeah. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the food. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, wow. guard here, DC, what does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Slicing and dicing, looking good with these elbows tonight, champ. He looks like a Michelin star chef trying to I slice and dice in the kitchen the way he's tearing his opponent up. Just misses there with the left. Round two next. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head. Nice. 